There are many. If you want to go and see a book on it, I'll, I'll, I'll direct okay, you. No, no, no. no you've I'm asked me a question. Let me. Studies physics. All right, let me I ask. I want you to tell me right. what you think the laws of physics let me, are. Let me. Let me. Physicists don't know. That's okay. Well, let me answer your question. So, as someone who studies physics, yeah. you're still an undergrad, right? Yes. I am. Okay. So you're in your first year. Yes, I am. All right. So someone like Martin Rees has write, wrote a book on just six numbers. I don't know who that is. Okay. So you should know because this is a person who's actually outlined the six l fundamental constants. Or among them, for example, n. Uh, N he calls nature, he actually calls it N for nature and he says that that is, uh, and that's when he was talking about the numbers that, that detail the, the laws of nature for example, he mentions six different numbers, E, N, uh, those, are, those are numbers of mathematics rather than physics. They are physics, what are you talking about? E, e, um, What's, what, what, university you, what university did you study? Imperial College London. Okay, so I'm sure you're clever enough to know that when, when, physics is, when mathematics is applied to the cosmos, it's, it's, it's called physics. You've just done yes, your A levels. You've just no, done. I'm, I'm from Germany. I did my Abitur. Okay, you've done that. So you know, you know the deal, right? So I don't have to tell you that. I mean, I'm not a physicist, but you should know this. Well, I know that uh, physics is an attempt to mathematically describe the universe. There you have the it. So, have so that's what Martin Rees did. So good. Martin Rees done that. He got six numbers. You said, what are the rules? You can be described in different uh, ways. Martin Rees has got his uh, standard what way. What are those numbers except for E? And he's got uh, e equals uh, he, uh, said, uh, n equals nature, which he said yeah, that which is, is mathematically meaningless. No, let me explain. Well, why is it mathematically? He's got, he actually gave a number, which is 0.07. What, what significance does <laughs> 0.07 have? Is it called physics when mathematics is applied to the universe or not? Yes. Okay, so uh, when he says 0.07 is the number n, which is applied to the universe, is that math is that physics How or not? How does he apply to the universe? Well, he looks at well, look at e for example, right? Yes. He, he looks at the, the right. So he, he says that that's the conversion of um, helium into energy, for example. No, he is. I mean, if we're talking about Epi Epison, Epison, uh, whatever it is, well, man. Epsilon yeah. gets used for a lot of different things. Right. So he uses it in his own way, and he gives it. He gives his own articulation of it. Um, go check the preface of this book or the introduction. Okay. Look. What's the What's the saying, argument? What you're saying what's right the now is that there are seven numbers which are important. Six. Six. Okay. According to Martin Rees, he's an author. Right. How does this relate to the fundamental? You said that well, your question was that particles uh, don't depend on anything; they're independent. I'm saying to you. I'm saying you have to show that. Do you believe that particles are independent? Uh, of what? You said just don't. Please don't retract your argument because I'm. Watch this, Josh. This is what Christian missionaries need to learn. Now you're saying that particles are independent. Yes or no? I'm saying they're fundamental. No, no, please, no, no, because you you are trying to interrupt me when I speak to Aaron Ross. Best of my knowledge. Yeah, yeah. What, watch, watch this, please. What I'm yeah. basing this off yeah. is yeah. the standard model, which is yeah. the best model we have for the universe right now. It's right. incomplete. All physicists perfect, perfect. admit that it's incomplete. No problem. But Julia, you said that particles, uh, uh, fundamental particles, don't depend on every anything. She said that. Especially they're not composed of anything else. No, no. You said, unless you want to retract that statement, which is what every atheist does when they're in front of me. No, you said that fundamental particles don't depend on anything. I believe that to be the case. I right. do not claim that it's perfect, true. Perfect, perfect. Now, do you believe that fundamental particles don't depend on anything? Uh, I believe that to be the case. Excellent. I'm not claiming that Julia, that's true. Julia, thank you for saying that because now what you've shown is that you believe in the existence of an independent being. <laughs> but the only thing is, no, 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 hold on, hold on. The only thing is now, no, 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 no problem. But you accept because before you were saying there's no such thing as a necessary thing. You're saying now that there is, now hold on, Julie. I, and you're going to retract your statement because that's what every atheist does in front of me. You said, words in my no, mouth. no, it's on camera. You said you believe. You just said it four minutes, two, two minutes ago. You just said you believe that fundamental um, particles are not dependent on anything. By definition, what you're effectively saying is you believe fundamental particles are independent. Now, what I'm saying Technically, is, what right. I'm saying when I, when I, what I say, what I mean when I say fundamental. Don't particles say what you mean. Is, that's what you mean. No, no, no. I'm just explaining what the standard model says. Right, but okay, go ahead. Fundamentally, yeah. according to quantum field theory, fundamental right. particles are essentially just energy spikes in. No a problem. Field. But your belief, and you so use. They, so your they depend on energy. Julia, you shouldn't have come here today and tried to challenge me. Because what you've done, no, seriously, you should really think about it before you come and stand and make claims uh, without no, revising no, it or thinking about it. You need to Julia, show me. Julia, you know, I don't need to show you anything. You shouldn't, yes, have you, do. you shouldn't have come here because what you've done now is you've given me exactly what I wanted. In the beginning, you said that I have to prove that there's a necessary independent being. Now you've just said you believe that fundamental particles are not dependent on your words. Exactly. You believe you said, I believe yeah. fundamental particles are not dependent on anything.
Now, all I'm saying as a Muslim is that my vi my understanding of so excuse, God, let me let me finish. God let, is in, let me is immune. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> no, no, your God. No, that was just a funny, just a funny it's my, it's, you know, Yeah, your God is, in your, uh, is, is that. Now, the only difference between my God and your God is size. That's the only difference. Here's, no, honestly, you, you need to understand you're not an atheist anymore in front of me. I've converted you straight to Islam. The only thing you need to do... No, no, no. All you need to know and believe in is, is the right attributes of God and uh, the Prophet Muhammad as a messenger. So just, just, and obviously, if you want to believe in Jesus... Oh, we believe in Jesus. the Prophet, the messenger, no, no, the an electron, no, no, no. photon... No, listen to me. You, you said that... And also, I uh, want Julie, add. Julie, Julie. No, you don't need to add anything. You've given me exactly what I want to hear. No, 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 no. no. You I don't add it. You said that you believe that fundamental beginning. particles are independent. That's what she said. Not dependent on anything. That's the definition of independence. Now, if you believe in an independent entity... Now, let me tell you something from an Islamic perspective. And you have to understand this. Can I, let me just finish. Sorry. Uh, but let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Very misleading you said, in this context. Wait a minute. You said not dependent on anything. How could, someone, how could something be not dependent okay. on anything Can and not you independent? Let me clarify? Yes, please. I think the word dependent is very misleading because, it, like, fundamentally, even inside the standard model, things to, like are interdependent. They're just interdependent on a fundamental level. And the thing is, I know that the standard model isn't complete, so there is some deeper layer somewhere. So it's interdependent. Right? Oh yeah, they're interdependent. So what fundamental particles are interdependent? Well, in the sense that everything relies this on This reminds us of a conversation we had, isn't it? Well, I know, I know you think. As I said, particles are essentially just expressions of energy in a quantum field. Julie, thank you. You're contradicting yourself. Because interdependence entails dependence. If you're saying that fundamental particles are interdependent, you're saying it's dependent. Then you said that it's not Put dependent on anything. That's mouth. a contradiction. Either you Put want to believe in this or that. Put and that's what atheists do. Josh, Josh, this is what atheists do. Uh, Julie, is there anything you want to add? Sorry, is it, uh, we're done here. Is there anything you want to add? Yes, of course. Um, you're talking about contingency. I understand it's a pity that people didn't give you a chance yeah, to yeah. give you a full argument. Yeah. Is the Quran contingent? No, absolutely not. So we've got the Quran is not contingent. No, no, because we believe it's, a, it's an attribute of God. Well, that's the issue, isn't it? So it's not an issue. Well, it's you asked the question, you thought I would say yes. No, no, it's I not. knew you would say no. Okay, no, you I didn't. No, you no, thought I would say yes, but no, it's, 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 it didn't work. So it Sorry. didn't need God. No, no, it is, it is an attribute of God. The Quran well, no, is an attribute no, of God. Need, it's a speech is, of God. It dependent? It's a subgroup. The, 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 the Quran is a subgroup of an attribute of God, which is speech. So it's, Which came first? No, it was there at the same time. It was always there. It's, it's, it's eternal. The Quran no, is no, eternal. No, this is what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's not a great, great thing. Oh, thank Quran. you very much. Nice try. Oh, Anyone else? No, 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 it's Anyone great. else? It's like, 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 yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. It's done. <laughs> it's done. Honestly, it's done. Yeah. You have the, the yeah. first cause argument by theologians that say um, yes. everything is contingent on a necessary being. Yes. So, yes. this is the problem. Yeah? Yes. You are presupposing a necessary being, but there I'm is. I'm not presupposing that. Okay. I'm arguing. That? No, no. That's a, that's a false understanding. And once again, you can read my book. It's called Kalam Cosmological Arguments. It's bestseller now okay. on, uh, on uh, what do you call it, on Amazon. And the atheist, what's your name, my friend? Michael. Michael, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. You're a, good, you're a, nice, you're a nice man. You didn't come like Julie with a hype and then have to leave with, a, uh, with her, head, a bit, bit, uh, her tail between her legs. Um, you, be nice, man. Be nice. No, 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 I like you. Huh? <laughs> Let's go back to the yeah, discussion. No, no, I will do. But what I was going to say to you, uh, what's your name again? Michael. <laughs> sorry, 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 I'm bad. I like Michael. 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 <laughs> Michael, here's the thing. You're absolutely right. Okay. Uh, in one way, because what you're saying is that we have to reason. Your assumption here, what I'm getting from you, is that we have to reason the independent being without assuming the independent being. And what, I, what I'm saying is that the independent, self-sufficient, necessary being that I've just described has to be understood because of the 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 the, 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 the contrary proposition of there being only possible existences in the world being an impossible one. So. To avoid impossibility, we have to we, we have to believe a necessary being. Yeah, that's all. That's yeah, the. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. disagree. So because with that. I'm what, what we're trying to do as philosophers or as logicians okay. is we're trying to avoid impossibilities, right? Because we know impossibilities cannot exist in the real world, okay. and and impossibility is where you have dependent things depend upon depending upon dependent things ad infinitum. Uh, if you go back to my example of the phone, I think you get my example now. I think you get my uh, argument, by the way. Now. I understand what you're saying, but I'm, I'm just thinking that yeah, yeah, the, the terminology yeah. that you're using, you're not defining them well. So, okay, what, no do problem. Mean, what do yeah. you mean by necessary? Necessary is something which is, could not have been any other way, number one. It's, no, it's, not depend, it's independent, so it's not dependent on anything. In other words, self-sufficient, right? And is eternal. So, in other words, it's always the case uh, whether 
temporality is applied to it or not, that these qualities will always remain in the necessary existence. So the Quran, uh, outlining all the things that the recitation does outline, creates determinism, doesn't it, really? Which is the argument... We, we believe in determinism. You do believe yes. in determinism? We believe God is a determiner. No, so, well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that everything yeah. is determined. No free will, I mean. No, no, we believe in compatibilism. No, so, no, like, because no. if you're, if you're right. creating a Quran that's saying right. all of these things happened, talks about the Bible, talks about the past, talks about the so future... Like, what's your name, then, sorry? Uh, John. Um, John, yeah. John, yeah. <laughs> um, I like it, I like it, John. Right. Then, then it's all it's all determined, it's all isn't it? Yes, and and it, and, yeah. and and you don't yeah, yeah. you haven't really no you're right you haven't and it's no free will and you haven't really yeah. uh, demonstrated the way you tried to demonstrate to Julie and um, the Aaron uh, how the Quran and Allah can be uh, non interdependent eternal yeah, so and not dependent on anything else and yet the Quran is determined right, right, is, is dependent right, right, I get you, I get on you, all of the things that the Quran describes happening clear. that's clear I know I understand what you're saying no, no no because there's a misunderstanding of the Islamic theology here the, yeah. let me make it very clear it was a big thing wasn't it at, in, yes, in, in yes. Ahmad ibn Hanbal Ahmad and Mu'tazilis and Ahmad yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Hanbali right so I follow Ahmad no 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 right? yeah, follow. I mean I think but, a lot but, of people were killed over this weren't they uh, well, not really. I mean, it's not, not as a big as people. Not people. a lot, but there's some people who are tortured over it. Yeah, yeah, it was okay, tortured. Yeah, and we were on the side of those guys. We're on the side of those guys that were tortured. So, in Islamic theology, the Quran is not created. I know. Well, in your in your belief of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's according to the Sunni understanding, yes, yes. right? So, according to the Sunni understanding, it's not created. Obviously, the Mu'tazilis were a group of people that were came extinct that believe it was created, but we don't believe in that. So. Because it's not created, and they have their own theology, by the way, you have to go not speak to them. contingent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's because it's not created, it's like I'm speaking to you now, right? So I'm speaking to you now, my speech is part of my attribute. It's, 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 part of, it's part of me, actually, right? Because my speech is part of me. So a speech is an attribute of me, but it's an attribute which, which is intrinsic to me. So in other words, the speech of Allah is intrinsic to Allah, and the Quran is a sub set of that speech, meaning it's also uh, eternal just like Allah. But you could say the it's same about reality. It's inseparable. It's inseparable from Allah. You could say, you could say the same about reality, that reality no, no, is, because it, is an expression of Allah. And no, no, it's ex an expression of his, um, his, attrib no, his attribute of creation. Of creation, yeah, so yeah. it's it, so it's, 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 no, no, it's no. also, we differentiate. also no. eternal. No, 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 because what we say is that it could have otherwise not been the case. So. The, the universe can be taken out of existence, whereas Allah can never be taken out of existence. Can the Quran be taken out of existence? No. Why not? And the Quran in the, in the recitational form cannot yeah. be taken out of existence. In physical form, like books and stuff, no, yeah. And we believe that will happen, I'm by the way. I'm not talking about the. the yeah, yeah, we form. believe that there will come a time where all the Qurans will be saying that the, the, recitation, the physical. The recitation Muslim is Muslim. eternal. I mean, even as a recitation, yes. it's quite difficult to have a start in the beginning of something that's eternal. Yeah, no, we don't have a start of it. Well, the beginning of the, the uh, recitation. No, no, it was always there. Yeah, I know, but when it's spoken by God, yeah, that yeah, recitation... No, 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 so here's a misunderstanding. Now, I see what you're saying, but because the speech of Allah is one category, and then the subs, a subset of that is the Qur'an, that Qur'an is eternal. It was only transmitted to the Prophet by the angel Gabriel, which was already there eternally in what we call the Lawh al-Mahfuz, the preserved tablet, there's, a, there's an entrenchment of all of those things, codifications, and then that was transmitted to the prophet. Yeah, but you, you Philosophically, yeah, I don't but think you made can a, make, a, a, can a can No, but just, just, just taking the line of what you're saying. Where's the then, fallacy? But then there is an eternally existing thing yes. with Allah, which is not Allah. No, 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 we say that's part of Allah. Yes, but it's not Allah. No, it is, we, we say it's is part of Allah. It's identical to Allah. We'll say it's part of, uh, it's part of Allah's attributes. But one second, not part of Allah, part of Allah's attributes. It's identical to, to God. Well, it's like saying, is his mercy him? Yeah, so, I'm asking, is that identical? Right, so we will say that it's, a, it's an attribute of a, uh, it's one of his many attributes. Yes, yeah, so his, yes. his, his, his merciful acts are different from it's his like mercy, saying, right? It's like saying, oh, no, we had this his, discussion before us, right? No, no, his mercy I'll, is an attribute, but his merciful acts are uh, continued. But <laughs> cla classical theism would say that there, there isn't anything in God which is not God. So God's attributes are identical to God. That's your so understanding. This, 
no, no, classical theism has held. Well, so look, saying, well, that's look, a mere logical study. It's actually look, a, a fallacy, in fact. It's, it's a, not a fallacy. It's, it's a fallacy. It's a traditional position in theistic form. Well, it's a fa yeah. fallacious one as well. No, it's not, because it tries to uphold... Well, let's, let's not yeah, go no, into no, that. No, no, he's, he's an atheist. He, he wants to talk it. about uh, racist things. I'm, yeah, but... It shouldn't just be well, because no, he's an atheist. We're, 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 yeah. we're discussing yeah. about something which you are holding as true. Right, so I'm, I'm coming back to you on a point. We don't, first of all, it we doesn't don't, matter if the person is atheist or so, 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 so that view, yes. do you believe God has parts? Sorry? Do you believe no. God has parts? Oh, no, I don't no. believe God has parts. Yes. So we, 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 but then you have a problem because you're contradicting yourself. No, no but let, me, yes. let me explain, right? We believe God is immaterial and incorporeal. Yes. And he's also yes. partless, right? Yes. But we want simplicity, he lacks parts. He's not composed, but then you have a problem because but, but, if he lacks I, parts. Go ahead, Chair. Go. Yeah, because I'm saying his speech has to be a part because then if it's not. It doesn't have to be. Why are you saying that? Yes, because it, the Why? only reason he doesn't have parts is because everything within him is identical to his. So, you're, so he's so not I don't, composed. I, I, I don't by understand. What's your position? Is your position that God has parts or not? No, he doesn't have parts. So why are you saying that you. So I'm saying anything uh, within really God is identical to him. Here's another thing. So I'm yes, saying the Quran, no, if it's not. What do you mean by him? Sorry? What do you mean by so every? So I'm saying God's attributes, if it's omnipotence, his mercy, or whatever you say, has to be identical to God. So that is a yeah, what do you mean by that? Sorry, yeah, that articulation, I'm confused by it. Second. The only reason why people have held to that is because they have to say that then God is... Maybe, maybe we agree, because okay. let, me, let me explain God, why we might can, agree. Can I just say this point? Yeah, yeah. Because if, if they are not identical to God, then things within God, God is dependent on them. Josh. God is not dependent on his omnipotence, he's dependent on his no, no, omniscience. No, no. And yeah, yeah, just yeah. before you answer yeah. that... No, no, let me, let me, can no, I no, just come back on that? Thing, right, right, no. So also, is the Quran able to exist eternally without Allah? No. No, exactly. Because the Quran is an expression of Allah. Well, then it's contingent on Allah. No, it's, it's like, it's like for, for example... Well, I, I think that's a fair argument. No, no, no. So then you have to... Okay, okay, I know what the issue is here. I do know what the issue is here. The issue is here, when you're talking about things, anything, right? What are the only things you can make reference to? You can either make reference to mathematical truths, or you can make ma ma um, reference to cosmological ones. Like, for example, today's, in today's discussion, we're all making reference to cosmological truths. When I say cosmological, let me be clear. We're talking about things which pertain to the universe, to the cosmos. So, for example, you're wearing a shirt. That's a cosmological... If I were to make an example, an analogy with that shirt, that would be a cosmological example, right? Now, what I'm saying is that all of your cosmological understandings, especially as it relates to muriology, and I'm being very clear here, muriology being the study of parts and wholes, okay? Muriology being the study of parts and wholes is... No, I'm not for you. For the, for, I know you, you're a philosopher. But for other people... No, no, no. I'm just, not for the people. No, no. no you know what I'm Muriology being the study of wholes and parts. Um, any cosmological example you're going to bring is going to be irrelevant to the metaphysical um, deity which is God. That's not true. Because you can have metaphysical parts. So you have things like matter and form. No, we're talking so, about God. So yeah, necessarily yeah, yes. Just, yes, but I'm saying you just said something. You can have metaphysical parts, you can have physical parts. Okay? Yeah. Metaphysical parts will yeah. be things like matter, form, Yeah, essence, well, we're saying all of those things are irrelevant so that, to God. No, they're not irrelevant to God. So it's no, God, but, so we, well, I no, don't get it. They're not irrelevant Josh, to God. what are you saying? They're not irrelevant to God. Why? They, no, because some people have had to debate, is God's essence identical to his existence? No, no, no. All I'm yes. saying, Josh, is that... When we're looking, when we're analysing parts and holes yes. in the world that we live in, yes. that study gets us nowhere in understanding the, the metaphysical reality of God. Yes, it does. Because all you, what you're doing, you negate those the of essence, God. The essence. Yes. The essence of God. Yes. Philosophers have always tried to negate these things of Josh, God. Josh, me and you both believe, in our, th our respective theologies, that we can never be acquainted with the true essence. We can never know exactly what the true essence of God is. Yes, We're, I have no problem with Yeah, no. Yes. So if we both agree yes. with that, yes. that the true essence of God, and yes. put essence underneath uh, on the lines, yes. if we don't know what, uh, how God is, how, how he is, in essence, yes, then uh, what I'm saying is that anything you can imagine or anything that you've observed is not relevant to the discussion of, of God's essence. Is. Yes, yes, it is. Because, okay, okay. okay. Yes, well, because well, we agree. No, because you we agree to disagree. No, because you readily say that the Quran is, is that essence. essence. Yes, yes. Did you make a comment about it? Pardon? Can I, can I say something about your argument from earlier? The Which one? Dependent, dependent, dependent. Yes, of course, of course. It seems like, like even if you granted your full argument that there can't be nothing but dependent things, you still there's a big jump from. There's an absolute something to God. Exactly. Well, Big hold on. That's not exactly why I came in. Like, oh, perfect. Is that yeah, what you have you to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, yes, you, you're, yes. You're saying like yeah. there's this necessary being. Yes. There is absolutely nothing to actually say this is Allah. All right. Okay. It is just yeah. A necessary. Thank you very much. To say it is conscious. Perfect. It is personal. Yes. It no, no. Interacts with people. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, no. I want to hear what you're saying. And no. then you no, can no. only make descriptive. Yeah 
features of it. So like, let's you know, say with respect to time, like it's timeless. Yes. It's spaceless. Yes. There's yes. nothing prescriptive about it. Thank you, you very much. You can't derive an oath from an ease. It no, just David is. Hume. Yeah. I right. know. You're saying it's Allah. No, so no, no. You're, you're all right. right. I'm right. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, and if that's what you're... I wasn't saying that. No, no. You're right. And you're right. That No, not that it's... Allah with all of the attributes mentioned in the Quran, absolutely. Do you know what? I want to shake your hand for saying that. Shake my hand and shake my hand as well because this is this is an interior. <laughs> You're a TV show, man. I, I, I think you. Shake my hand as well. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't Sorry, the point that you were making. <laughs> shake my hand. All right. So uh, that is a very legitimate interrogation. So much so, it's actually very true, right? Yeah. So we can't say, and I want to agree with you here, okay. that just because you have this necessary independent being, right? right that this necessary independent being is personal, um, has the ability to love, is the loving one. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, mercy, merciful, wrathful, uh, right? Right? No, no. All of you know. You cannot, and this is my contention, right? And I agree with this point. And this is why I think a lot of philosophers have gone wrong, especially Christian philosophers, right? No, and a lot of Muslim ones, a lot of them, a lot, a lot of Muslim well, philosophers. I like to hear the reason then. The reason is because they try to make too many inferences from first principles. The truth is, of the attributes that you can actually get from this necessary being, there are probably just like 10 maximum, maximum, if you really wanted to stretch it, that you can get from this. For example, uh, we talked about the necessity of this thing, the independence of this thing, the fact that this thing